So many people commented that there are a lot of beautiful celebrities with Capricorn rising and that's obvious. You want to look to the ruler of the rising sign and what planets are in that rising sign. So she has Neptune in Capricorn. This gives her more of that ethereal kind of mysterious beauty, that kind of godly like otherworldly woe beauty. But the other thing with Capricorn rising is you want to look at Saturn, the ruler. So Saturn is in Aries. And the thing about Capricorn risings is they can kind of have the ugly duckling syndrome when they're young or maybe where they just don't fit in or they don't feel like they are conventionally beautiful because Saturn takes time to grow. It's a planet of maturity and of waiting your turn. So it shows here that she maybe did have a ugly duckling syndrome and had to grow into her beauty. Saturn in Aries is a bold, fiery, you know, passionate kind of beautiful person, not afraid to be themselves in a trine to her son in Leo, um, furthering that confidence and that creative energy. She has Jupiter in the second house opposite to her son, bringing in wealth, money, abundance, financial success with her assets, obviously. And the ruler of Saturn is Mars. So Mars is across from uh, Saturn and Libra in an opposition conjunct her midhaven, bringing in even further uh, a bold kind of sexy energy to her public image. And then we circle back around. The ruler of Libra is Venus in Virgo. And Virgo's co-present with Mercury. So a lot of people who are conventionally beautiful have some type of Venus contact to their rising sign. So as you can see, there are many, many different things that go into your birth chart. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, I specialize in relationships, love, romance, sex, career. Um, so book a reading with me. Thanks.